What's up YouTube? This is Shaylin with 8-Bit Co-op and I'm here with another exciting adventure of Card Hunters. This is a basically a tabletop that has been made into a TCG with kind of a little 80s dude up here that's what who's helping you. In the last episode we did get our mage and so now we're going to go ahead and get our healer or our priest. We're going to go to the Orc's Head Tavern and a human priest. Human priests are healers or fighters who or healers and fighters who can fight in close combat, aid their friends, and curse their enemies. At higher level they get access to skill cards that let them manipulate their card draws. Elven priests are highly mobile support characters who can both heal and curse from a distance. Though they have decent melee weapons, they can't hang in a fight for too long. At higher levels they gain even more powerful elf movements. Dwarven priests are resilient support characters. With their natural dwarven toughness, they can hang in a fight but may have trouble getting into range. At higher levels, their dwarven skills make them even harder to hurt. Oh. I'm not really a big dwarf person, so I'm going to go ahead with the human priest and Gisela. Done. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! Your party is now full. You can recruit new characters if you like, but you'll have to swap them for old for old ones. Okay, so Gisela, Divine Weapon, oh wait, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and exit this. Woohoo! The Keep on the Hinterlands is your new home. Check it out. Huh. You can check out your collection here. Okay, so now Gisela, there was a arc. No, that's divine weapon. That's not divine. I thought we had something divine. Okay, so minor heal, minor heal, minor heal versus. Let me see what this does. Let me put this on real quick. Okay, healing pulse. Heal two every ally within three squares of you, including yourself. So you heal two points of health. That is awesome. Unholy Frenzy gives you Frenzy two, which adds two damage to any melee attack you, you play or one damage to any magic or projectile attack. That's cool, if for two rounds. And Righteous Frenzy. Frenzy 2 Duration 1. Their faith robbed them of both fear and sense in equal measure. Okay, I do not have a divine weapon. So I'm going to exit here. Oh wow, look at all this stuff opening up. Adventure! Now things are getting excited. There are new adventures to tackle. And the daily deal stocks exotic and hard to obtain items. So let's see what's down there now. Okay, very expensive stuff that I probably will not be able to afford. Uh oh. Oh, they still won't let me do that. Okay, uh, so I'm looking for just treasure to get rid of right now. Okay, so those were the only treasure, and I still can't afford anything. So, let's go ahead and exit, go back up to the armory, and figure out Gisela needs a divine weapon. Oh, whoops, up here. Okay, so these are the only divine weapons there are. Let me go ahead and put this back to all items. Let's see. Stab, stab, draining touch, fragile curse. Ooh. That's level three, but that's level six. That has a lot of heals in it. That has some blessings in it, but no heals. 
and I don't have any heels over there. So for a healer, I kind of want to have some heels in it. I'm going to go ahead with this right now. That put a big hole in our, our gold. So, okay. So these are all on cool now. Let's go ahead and start with a wizard workshop. And now. And now. A wizard seeks you out with an unusual offer of employment. Liberate his home from the crazed magical constructs. Figures. You create them, we have to clean them. The wizard, Aloizo, has asked you for help. It seems his recent mechanical creations have gone haywire, attacking anyone who steps in foot inside his tower. He offers to reward you if you will read his, rid his home of out-of-control golems and ornithopters. Will you climb the forbidden stairs to the wizard workshop? Now this has three battles in it. So Norsk 2, Shaylin 2, Jezella 1. Alonzo's tower is neat and well furnished. The wizard is an enthusiastic horticulturalist and he has played magnificent ficus trees in the corner of this room. As you step inside the tower, two twin golems whir into life and lurch towards you with murderous intent. Encounter. Metallic monstrosities bar your way. They are out of control and no longer serve their master. This actually shows you what you draw as well. Um, and if you look over here, it says Golem Moods. D12 Moods. Distant, despondent, carefree, mutinous, envious, jealous, excitable, angry, 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 really angry, and really, really angry. So, let's see. Okay, so this is not blocking, so we can walk here. But look at these are the ficus trees. Okay, so let's go ahead and run Norsk up. Uh, let's see. Dash her up to here. I'm going to hide. And then run this one up. You know what? I want to see within three squares, so this will do fine there. Okay, so we, we may be doing some healing this time. I'm going to go ahead and weak strike oh. this one. Yes. It and he counterattacked. Okay, penetrating zap. Let's go ahead and little zap first. I'm going to focus fire on this one, try to get him down fairly quickly. Okay, and simple strike. Uh, they're so easy to block. Hit round. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of that. Because I want to keep all the heals I need. Okay, so... Stab. Okay, that was awesome. And... No, no, spark. Okay, so we only got two. I don't like having simple strike here. I gotta figure out what I gotta change in order to get rid of that. You know? So, okay, Gary passed. And she's the only one fighting. So the mage is the seriously the only one fighting. I'm gonna move her over here. Okay. I'm gonna throw how much is a heal for this? Heal two? Yeah, I'm gonna throw that on here. Behind every great warrior is an average or better healer. I like that. Okay, end round. I gotta discard cards. Oh, I gotta select for him first. I'm gonna go ahead and discard that one. Discard these two. Keep the heals. Okay. Let's see. It's so much easier. Ow. Oh. 
said get away from me. Block, block. Lord. Run. Block him in. He passed. Simple strike. And whenever you hit them, they orient towards you. So. And I hope that that I hope that that means that next round they'll get it. And I didn't just waste that card, which I'm having a feeling. Yep, I had a feeling I was. Okay, so let's go ahead and bludgeon him. He has two health left. Uh, and I don't have anything to reach him with. You know, let's go ahead and do this. One health. Really, one health? Oh, okay. At least he had the one health. Yeah. Okay, the once elegant room is now moved. The columns have been reduced to piles of scrap amongst the debris of the fine decor. You leave the broken parts for Aloizo to clean up. Then climb to the second tower level. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay. So I, I suppose it would be too much to expect that you youngsters have joined the card hunter club yet. Duh. As usual, I have to explain everything. Club members get an extra item each time they open a chest. Yes. Serious players will click the button next to the club symbol at the top of the screen to find out more. And so I'm going to go ahead and click this. But basically, with the with the card hunters club, you can get um, extra loot every time you loot a chest. Well, it costs pizza slices. Well, guess what pizza slices cost? Money. So, you know, I'm not exactly all that worried about it right now. So, what is this? Uncommon divine armor. Oh, she doesn't have an armor slot yet. So, we're going to go ahead and put that down there. And then... Take off. Continue. Pizza! Pizza! One with... One large with tofu and pineapple. With extra tofu, right? <laughs> of, of course. Couldn't forget that order. Oh. Oh, uh, well, you're welcome then. I mean, sorry, or thanks. Okay. Counter. These crude flying machines are ungracious hosts and do not welcome you here. Okay, so we're here in the middle. Okay, so you can see which ones are kind of blocked. But, okay, so let's just start. Well, there's nothing in the way of any. Oh, well, we can spark. And let's spark this. Right off the bat, let's start. Snick is clumsy. Attach this card to yourself. You cannot turn to face your target when attacking, and you do not turn to face attackers. Duration one. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and move. Sorry about that. He started. We have we have this special needs dog and he has attachment disorder, so if he's too long away from people, he kinda gets freaked out. So I gotta figure out where's the best place to move her. I wanna move her back here, but then she won't have access to either one of these. So I'm gonna move her over here. Okay. Now, let's see, that's only, well, that's only one, you know what, he hasn't taken his turn yet, 
so. I don't know exactly what they have with. Oh, nice. Wow. That was crazy. Uh, it looks like. Oh, cool. Bash push him back. Okay, Gary passed. So I'm gonna work on reliable hide, reduce damage to North Carolina. Okay. Oh. Can't strike him. Oh wow! Knock the snot out of him. You know I want to run and block ember spray. What? Let your troubles manifest in a tor torrent of burning embers. Now let your troubles become theirs. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna run kinda up here. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. That is a lot. Buzzsaw. Targets discarded the diabolic blade mart made short work of Cuthbert's helmet and shorter work of his skull. Ouchies. I think I moved this one too far back. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Think that this okay. okay, let's see. What are we going to we're gonna do that? I know I know. But let's see. Simple strike. This one. Again, focus. Minor heal. That's heal two. That's only heal two, but I mean, it's amazing. Troops benefit from many different sorts of encouragement. Unholy frenzy. So I'm hoping to be able to use that to my advantage whenever it comes to knocking this one out. Okay. Oh, the oh, they got their own player. That's kind of cool. That's always nice when they get their own their own, you know, character, or their own teammate. Okay, select the card for him to discard that one. Hey, hey, look at all that demon cracking up. Okay, wow. That stuff is just a mess. Okay, so... Uh, get at least some health going. Penetrating cut. Yeah. And now there's only the one left. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the round. I will tell you. This is a lot, this is a lot more difficult when it comes to planning around the room. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so. I remember, okay, I remember when I was a lot younger. 
a day or two younger. Anyway, when we were playing D and D, and there was still fat there, um, it's to hit armor class zero. And I remember playing with that. That's that's kind of what oh. I miss. Oh no, I'm still holding the tip. She must think I'm a real jerk. <laughs> what a nerd. The fight destroys the kitchen and much of its contents. You hope that all of this is worth it to the errant wizard. You can now climb the last level of the tower and secure it from its artificially animated assailants. First, I want to see what we can get. Let's see. Uh, wood token. Yeah, let me see if this is better than this. No, I like that on Holy Frenzy a lot better. Okay, common arcane item. I think this is what I have there. And I am going to go ahead and replace the perforating wand. Okay, take all, continue. Huh. Let's do the last fight of this and beat the workshop. At the tower's apex is Aloizo's master lab laboratory. The walls are lined with shelves of herbs, unguents, unguents eh, and potions. The room is guarded by an enormous bronze golem. This mechanical monstrosity represents a threat to magic, living creatures, and the card, card country and way of life. It must be smashed to pieces. Okay, so... Encounter! Bzz, clank, woo. A heavily armored bronze golem clanks into action. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna have him run up there and take on this guy. He's clumsy, so that's good. I'm gonna have her dash up behind him and hide and have them. I'm gonna kind of put them right there for now. Bludgeon. This is where I think the game is going to come in a lot of handy, or in handy a lot. I don't see I'm recording this late and I really you know was working all day, and so my brain is not connecting sometimes. Um, select a card to yeah, destroy. Uh, with the um, priest, I'm always going to get rid of everything but the heals, so. Nine. Let's go ahead and whittle them down this way, hopefully. That's going to start. Simple strike. So, okay, penetrating zap. So named because patricians pernicious perforating pain projection was too awkward to say. say. That was hard to read. Wow. That was a pretty easy adventure. Victory! The final battle destroys the laboratory completely. Both Aloizo the wizard and the local authorities are grateful for the player's successful efforts. With a sigh, Aloizo swears a solemn oath never to dabble in the dark arts of technology again. The dark arts of technology. Okay. Um, he rewards you with what he can salvage from his ruined lab and pledges to assist you in your further adventures whenever he can. All right. Did anybody level? Level two, level two, no. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. This is where the stuff... Okay, Violet Staff. Let's see. Wow. Okay, short spark, pen zap, pen zap, zap, little zap, and simple bash. I like this a lot better than what I got there, so yeah. Okay, this is common robes, not usable until level four, so that's going to go down there. Uncommon treasure, a divine item. Okay, let's see what this misguided heal. Heal four. 
Healing is applied after damage. Huh. It's uncommon. That's what this little thing means. Ah. Renown up. Whoa! Yes, your renown went up. More renown means cheaper prices in the shop. That's important. Increase your renown by completing more adventures. Woohoo! Woohoo! The chest and barrel is open. It lets you buy more chests if you're feeling lucky. Okay, so let's go see what it looks like. Yay! I'm gonna give you some pizza. Try your luck on a magnificent chest. Okay, so we got five pieces of pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a magnificent chest. Open it. And see what's in it. Yay! Oh, you got a powerful item that requires a power token. You'll get power tokens as you level up. You can see any power tokens needed when you mouse over an item. Okay, so... I wonder... Is it... Oh, you can't even put it on, though. Okay, so this... Death Touch Mall. Not enough power tokens. Common Helmet. Let's see. Who would use that? Oh, not usable until level 6. Common Arcane Item. Not enough power tokens. These all require power tokens. Common shield. Missile block, flimsy block, flimsy block. You know what? I'm going to keep what I got. So, I'm going to go ahead and exit that. So you can use your pizzas to buy those. Um, let's go see what's in random huh. rarities. Watch out, this shop sells a lot of items that require power tokens. Power requirements look like little beads next to item names when you mouse over them. You'll get power tokens as you level up, so you probably shouldn't buy anything that needs a token to use yet. Then we got a whole bunch of crap that has tokens, or that needs tokens. I wonder... Uh, control click sells, so... I wonder... Let me go ahead and get all my treasure out of here first. Okay, that's it. Well, that was easy enough. Okay. Uh oh. Still can't sell items. Okay. I'm waiting for the time when I can. So, and if you notice up here has also um, highlighted you can play multiplayer and co op. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get to either a multiplayer, um, I'll get to a multiplayer round next episode. I might try one just to see what it looks like. No, sorry, Ren Renown has changed. But I hope that you come back and join me to see what multiplayer is all about. And I really appreciate you taking the time you spend with me. Take care.